straight and curvy, meek and nervy. More about antonyms by Brian P. Cleary, illustrated by Brian Gable. Antonyms are words that are quite opposite in meaning, like sleep and wake, or give and take, like messing is to cleaning. Cheer and jeer are antonyms, like straight and extra curvy. Wet and dry and sell and buy, as well as meek and nervy. Drop and hold are also antonyms because they speak of opposites, like stand and sit, or strong and somewhat weak. If antonyms did not exist, we wouldn't have the words to say, I'd like the quiet, not the noisy type of birds. Or, Mrs. Scott prefers when we are serious, not silly. Or, the road in San Francisco isn't flat, but rather hilly. To certain words, just add an un, or non, or I'm, or dis, and you'll create an antonym. Let's try it now with miss. As in a word like mispronounced, mistrust, misspelled, mismatched, each word becomes an antonym with this prefix attached. Sometimes putting anti, ill, or er, or often in. Before a word, we'll make an antonym. Shall we begin? Antisocial, anti-lock, and even anti-freeze, irregular, illogical, and inequalities. Out and in are antonyms, and so are neat and messy, shallow, deep, and loose, and keep, informal, and quite dressy. They point out major differences, like rainy versus sunny, healthy, sick, sluggish, quick, or grim, and kind of funny. Plump and thin are antonyms, like spotless is to dirty, real to fake, and make to break, like bashful is to flirty. They offer rich, contrasting words that help us to distinguish day from night, and wrong from right, and brighten up our English. So, what is an antonym? Do you know?